Hello folks, this message is very important. This is probably the most serious thing I've ever shared in my whole life. You know, this is this is major. Really bad, like, I've never had a hint like this before, you know. You know what, you know what it is, I'm gonna have to share this with you. I might have a king size pot there you know. Then I might have a pot of chicken soup. I might put that in a pot and I might cook it. Or I might just put it in the microwave with cling film. I don't know. That is brass soup. That's only 60 odd pets a can out of Asda. And it's a uh, show chicken. Show chicken lumps. That's, that's what I like about it now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in shock, quite frankly. I've, uh, I'm waiting to delete my Facebook account, okay, because I've had enough of it, and it's like, it's not that I'm having a go at anyone or anything like that, I love all you guys, you know, but it's just, the world's falling apart, and I just scroll down Facebook, and I was on the other day, and I thought, like, maybe I'm being a wee bit too serious, trying to get souls to Jesus and stuff, but, which uh, I'm going to be more serious about it, the second this curfew is finished, I'll be standing on the street speaking Jesus. The the thing is, I thought, right, maybe put on a bit of lighting on Facebook and I scrolled through and it says, I'll share something from my newsfeed. And I went through my newsfeed and I just couldn't believe what, was, what I'd seen, the, the crap that I'd seen. In my opinion, that's my opinion, that's all. People probably think I post crap. It's uh, it's your Facebook, you can post whatever you want. But the stuff I was seeing, it's just jokes, lewdness, perversion. It's like, I'm... Sorry, I don't find that stuff funny. I, I I find that an abomination to God, and I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, my mum's got this friend on Facebook as well. Um, I'm not going to name the person because I don't want to shame anyone. You know, you shame me if you want. Uh, and she puts what she has on for a tea every night. You know, and it's like I'm just a bit confused at how that's beneficial to anyone. Like. Do, 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 are we, do, what does it do for someone's day? Because I, I really don't understand this. I, I don't get it. It's maybe me that's loaded. I, I, I just don't understand what how, how what, what, knowing what someone had for the tea could benefit my day. I, I, I don't understand that. You know? So, uh, like I say, I'm going to delete Facebook because uh, I'm walking away from this because it's just nonsense, lewd, lewd, filth, nonsense, and I'm not interested in that, it's not my humour at all. Uh, maybe I am too serious. Good, I want to be serious because life's serious. Life's not a joke. And uh, I've got, the only time I've got now is for the people of God and the people that are interested in coming to God and I will try and reach out to everyone. Not that anyone cares about me anyway. You, you know, I'm not saying I'm anything special, but I've got all the time in the world for sons and daughters of God, you know. But I, I, I just, uh, I kind of, I kind of sign on my Facebook and see what people are saying for the team that and what they've done through uh, logging their whole day on Facebook and I, I, it, it's up to you. But I, you've got freedom of speech, supposedly. There's a if I if I had a, if I came on here now and spoke really what I believed in my heart and my true freedom, I'd be put in the jail today. Okay, the views that I've got. But anyway, you've got freedom of speech to, to an extent. Unless you go down the road that where, you know, you there's certain things that the government and that doesn't like you trying to on. <coughs> Post what you want, have a laugh, have a joke. We're all here in life, eh? And uh, life's, life's, life, life is really, really, oh, it lasts forever. It's Briar. It's like I'm 36 years of age, and that's past like the blink of an eye. I'm I'm halfway through my life. I'm 37 this year, <laughs> you know, October. So and there's people at 60, 70. There's people that died when they were 20, and it's just like life is just the blink of an eye. Okay, so I would actually start to think about more eternal things. But you know what? Again, I'll stick to my message. This is what I came on to share with you today. And that's what I'm gonna eat. I'll enjoy it. Followed by that, or I might eat that first actually. The king, or, or no, I might have my soup, and then while I'm having my soup, I might let that uh, 
I might let that boil in the pot a little bit. Anyway, I'm off Facebook. I might have deleted it now. And like I say, I've not fallen up with anyone. Okay, people probably look at me as a complete psychopath. That's okay. That's what you get for when you want to lead people to Jesus. And uh, I've I've got loads of time for the for my sisters and brothers in Christ because I'm going to say something else that might shock people. See see my own family. See my own family. They're not my family. Okay. Uh, if they're not saved, my 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 family, okay, are the children of God. Okay, so if my biological brother or sister is not saved, they're not my family. I'm sorry, that's it. Uh, my my family is people that have faith in Christ and have been born from God, and I'll give you my justification for that. It says in the first chapter of the the Gospel of John, to as many as received them were given the right to become children of God who were born. Okay, I think it says something like this. They were born not of the blood, nor of the will of man. They were born of God. Okay, so I've been born again. So I wasn't born of the blood. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't born of the will of man. I wasn't born of blood from man. I was born of God. God's my father. He's my heavenly father. That's my family. Uh, someone that believes in Jesus Christ is more family than what even my own mum and dad are, if they don't. But thank God they do believe. You know, that's uh, the way I live my life. And you can look on me delusional if you want. That's uh, that's the way. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to the message. Bought their own chicken soup, eh? That's bra. And uh, I'll give you an update of what I'm doing tomorrow because I'm sure everyone will be interested in that. I'll be sitting here looking at four wires anyway, but I'll be praying. And, uh, yeah. I'll just, uh, I might, might go down to the shop later on in the day and buy loads of toilet roll and uh, buy loads of cans of chicken soup and uh, we're waiting till all this is over so we can have a big dunking party. Yep, that's really good, eh? So we're not even taking the lesson. We're just, uh, we're just, we're just going to continue in our sin delusion. We're wanting, wanting the world back to normal so we can continue about our own business. Well, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, I might enjoy this pot in the note.